The next item is public meeting item number four in your green packet. This is an application for an advisory report in the Borough of Brooklyn, got docket number 15-6840, block 777, lot 77, which means it's not a specific block or lot. Ashland Place and Lafayette Avenue in the Brooklyn Academy of Music Historic District. Residential thoroughfares developed in the 1850s. The application is to amend Advisory Commission Report 09-0126 for the installation of light poles, tree pits, and alterations to sidewalk paving. Commissioners, good afternoon, Jerry Mills, Preservation Staff. Back in 2003, the Commission uh, issued an advisory report <coughs> for uh, improvements along Ashland Place and in front of BAM, um, part of the BAM Cultural District streetscape. The rest of it is under the jurisdiction of the, of the Design Commission. This was the only aspect that the, that the Commission was looking at. Um, the proposal was to reconstruct the sidewalks with this pattern, this similar to um, manhole covers, and to replace, uh, install new trees and uh, light fixtures. The design, and here's the, the limit of the project this year. So the design for the lines, and yeah. the voice is here to take us through the vision. Sure. Design. Good. Uh, hearing open, please. Motion second. Go ahead, Claire. Hi. Great. And I, I'm going to go through yeah. this relatively Do it efficiently. Quick. Yeah. So I'm not going to. Many of you should be familiar yes. with. So what I did want to say about the framework plan is that it still keeps. Uh, there's a lot of development happening. That's why the pressure to actually get a sidewalk, special sidewalk approved that everyone, all the cultural institutions and developers could sign in for. This is where we are today in terms of the development. There are two plazas that I'm not gonna talk about, but they are still special design plazas. One, of course, is already built and working. And this other one, uh, Two Trees, is working on as we speak. Also, that has to go through the Public Design Commission. So, as Jared <coughs> mentioned, it's really this distinctive sidewalk and these that are in question. And we are proposing that, like the Ken Smith design you approve, this is part of the whole. Uh, so we took our cues from this pretty fantastic sidewalk in front of the Opera House. This is what you saw before from Ken Smith, which was a very dark paving for the men, hall covers, and a, a um, standard concrete for the sidewalks and uh, these kinds of, uh, this tree, uh, which was a redwood, California redwood, and uh, the dark black lights. Instead, what the streetscape that we're working on, which we're very close to, we hope, going, we're going through final rounds of the Public Design Commission, which is why we're coming to you now, is in fact a uh, rather glittery uh, medium gray that looks very close in tonality to the bluestone. So that the blue stone in front of the opera house sort of set the tone for the streetscape. And what we worked out is a kind of um, pattern that varies, that creates a kind of uh, modulated rhythm. And with that, the solar lights, the different um, developers and uh, can kind of string along the score line. So this is a saw cut concrete that's quite sparkly that picks up the light at night is a medium gray. And so that's it at night. Okay. And I'm just gonna go, and that's really the gist of it. The okay. other piece of it, this is uh, steel based curves and black um, lights. So a more, these were the trees. We're talking about trees based on what's there today. So in fact, there are more existing trees are taken into consideration. Trees are in the same place. Um, I just want to show the lighting design. It is the same, except that we've managed this fixture now is available in LED. Mm -hmm. So it's an LED light, but very similar fixture. And I think really just to show you some images of this, so just what it would look like, not on the landmark site, but in general. So this is where brick is existing and proposed, and then at night proposed. Uh, also in front of Mark Morris, existing, proposed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, what will become uh, also um, for, uh, for BAM, a new facility. This is on Ashland, but across the street, existing, proposed. And that's about it. Okay, thanks, Claire. 
Any other, any com any questions? All right. Uh, no testimony. It's an advisory report, and we'll leave, uh, everybody from Brooklyn is allowed to speak first. Fred? First? Yeah. yeah. Since I, since I designed and built the Martin Morris Dance Company about 15 years ago, waiting for everybody else to come along, they finally are. Um, I am very enthusiastic about the fact of this and also the specifics of the design. I love it. Michael, Devonshire? I approve it. Brooklyn? Okay. Anybody disagree? Anyone dare disagree? No. Okay. <laughs> with, the, like with Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, hearing is closed. So the motion and a second. Fred? Thanks. <clears throat> and the matter of um, an advisory report for Ashland Place and Lafayette Avenue. The Brooklyn Academy of Music Historic District, Block 7777, Lot 7777. Is this right? That can't be right. I see. Okay. So uh, there we go. So the, uh, the application is to improve the installation of light poles, tree pits, and alterations to sidewalk paving. I uh, uh, recommend approval, noting that the portions of the concrete sidewalk to be removed are not significant features of the district and that the historic bluestone paving in front of the Brooklyn Academy of Music will not be altered, that the distinctive paving made up of tinted concrete with linear scoring and small light fixtures set flush with the sidewalk is discreet and will not detract from the significant features of the district that this paving will demark the limits of the cultural district and will draw pedestrians to the various cultural institutions, that the proposed concrete sidewalk and distinctive paving will result in minimal intrusion and will maintain a consistent sidewalk treatment in this historic district, that the black painted cobra head street lights and davit poles will also work to demark the limits of the cultural district without calling attention to themselves, uh, and that the black finish will match other light poles found in the historic district, and that the proposed work will not diminish the special architectural and historic character of the Brooklyn Academy of Music Historic District. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye opposed?